Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss how to write a program to find if two given numbers are friendly pair or not. So what is the meaning of friendly pair first you should understand. That is the ratio between the sum of divisors of a number and the first number ratio that is the ratio uh, uh, sum of the divisors of first number it will be better so the ratio between the sum of divisors of the of first number and the first number should be equal to the ratio between the sum of the divisor of the second number and the second number so what is the definition if it is not clear just see this example suppose you consider two numbers 6 and 28 okay what are the divisors of 6 1 2 3 and 6 right so you just sum them up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 is nothing but what? 12, right? 12 divided by 6 is what? That is 2. Now, you check for 28. The divisors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28, right? You add them up, you will get 56. Then you divide by that number, 56 divided by 28 should be equal to 2. So, now you see the ratio between the sum of the divisors of the first number that is 6 and the first number ratio is nothing but 2 and same goes for this second number 28 also so that we can say 6 and 20 are friendly pair okay and similarly uh, if you check 135 and 819 819 this is one example of odd friendly pair and this is another example of friendly pair that is 2480 and 6200 so we have to write such MATLAB program which will check whether two input numbers are friendly pair or not so how to write so first step is just you just understand the algorithm then you no need to remember a single line of the code so first input the number so enter first number okay then y equal to input enter second number and this algorithm you can use for java c c++ python whatever okay just basic difference in between different programming languages just syntax algorithm is same okay x and y we have taken two inputs now we have to see this step is we have to first find the divisors and then we have to add them up for both the numbers right so what to do just simple step is for i equal to 1 colon x okay so i is one variable which will uh, start from 1 and it will keep on incrementing up to x with value of 1 so like in java you can write the same line as for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to x i plus plus like this in java we write so in matlab we can write like this now we have to check divisibility so if remainder of uh, x comma i equal to equal to 0 that means it is divisible so what we will do we will store that in a variable b is equal to b plus c b plus i sorry okay so you can initialize here b equal to 0 in matlab no need to initialize the data types but if you are writing java program then you have to write int b equal to 0 okay like these modifications here instead of remainder in java if you write you have to write like this if uh, x uh, mod i equal to equal to 0 this in this way you have to write in java just yeah like this this is the statement for java of this line okay anyway you can compare different programming language also no issue now you just in these two loops that's all then b what will be stored in b basically the sum of the divisors of the input x will be stored now let me copy the same code and paste it here just change the variable instead of x here it will be y and here let me initialize some other variable c is equal to c plus i so similarly here define c equal to g okay now what we have to check if the condition of the 
friendly pair is if the sum of the divisors by that number is equal to sum of the divisors for the other number divided by the other number okay so you can say like this if b uh, b by uh, the number x equal to equal to c by the second number y then what do you have to do display yes no not a friendly pair okay end this loop let us check what was our first example 6 and 28 so let us check control a evaluate selection let's hope that our course should give no error 6 and 28 no not a friendly pair so it is showing error so 6 and 28 are friendly pair right 6 and 28 are friendly pair so some error is there let us check okay so it should be i equal to 1 colon y because second variable is y let us check again so control a evaluate selection enter the first number 6 enter the second number 28 yes friendly pair okay it is printing and working let us check for other cases 135 and 819 okay so control a evaluate selection 135 and 819 see yes friendly pair so let us check by little bit modification uh, let me give 135 and previously it was what is the number which was friendly making friendly pair uh, that was basically 819 right so let me give 820 see not a friendly pair because obviously you can intuitively understand that two consecutive can may not satisfy this property let us check for other case 2480 and 6680 2, 2480 and other one is 6200 6200 See? yes friendly pair okay so our code is completely working i will post the same code in the description of my this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section okay and the same algorithm you can apply in java and you can check okay this is all for my this video thank you for watching